Hi, this is Sahna. Today I'm going to show you how to create ASP.NET Core web application. The version that I'm going to use is ASP.NET Core 6.0. The tool that I'm going to use to create this application is Microsoft Visual Studio 2022. If you don't have Visual Studio 2022 in your system and if you want to install, then go to Visual Studio's official site. You will find different options here, community, professional and enterprise. Choose the community version. This is free and it will start downloading the installer. Once download is completed, then you have to run that installer and your Visual Studio 2022 will be set up. Let's get started right away. Open your Visual Studio. Click on create new project. Then here you will get different templates. Choose ASP.NET Core Web Application. Apart from this, you can find ASP.NET Core Empty and ASP.NET Core Web API as well as ASP.NET Core Model View Controller. These are the different templates, but we are going to choose ASP.NET Core Web App. Choose that one and click on Next. Now you have to give some meaningful name to your project. Now click on next and again you have to give some more configuration information. The first one that we see on the screen is the .NET framework. We have to choose the .NET framework. If I click on this drop down, then we have three different options .NET Core 3.1, .NET 5 and .NET 6. I'm going to choose .NET 6 because I want to demonstrate ASP.NET Core 6, which is the latest version as of now, which is shipped with .NET Framework 6.0. So choose .NET 6.0. The next option that you see is authentication type. So what is this authentication? Authentication is nothing but it is determining user's identity to make sure that only valid users have access to the application. We are going to choose the authentication type as none because we want to demonstrate the simple application. If you want to incorporate authentication, then you can choose from these options. Next option configure for HTTPS is checked by default. If this option is checked, then we can be assured that we are going to have a safe and secure data transfer. HTTPS stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol and this is a communication protocol. Next option that we have is Enable Docker. We are not going to check that option. We are going to keep it as it is. If we are wondering what is Docker, then I'm at Docker's official site and this is the document on Docker. This is Docker is an open source platform for developing, shipping and running your applications and this enables you to separate your application from your infrastructure. Let's say we are developing real time application. Once the development is completed, we don't keep it on our local machine, right? We have to deploy it somewhere on the server so that is so that it is accessible to everyone. OK, now we have deployed on the server. Uh, but what happens in this case is even if we miss a single dependency, our application won't run on the server. We have to face the problem. So what is the solution for that? Then comes the Docker. You can imagine Docker like a container. This gives you the environment where you can manage the complete life cycle of your application. And if you have to deploy your application to the server, then you can easily take this container and move it over there that too without any glitches so this is the beauty of docker but we are not going to implement any docker for this particular application we are choosing the simple approach keep this unchecked and click on create we have created the web application on the right hand side you can see that asp.net core framework has created a project or you can say web application which has got certain structure even of the template that we have selected if we had chosen an empty web application then we wouldn't have had these many files uh, we shall understand the project structure and the files in detail in our next session for now you understand that ASP.NET Core Framework has created a sample application for us and we are going to expand it further. Now I'll click on this arrow and run the application. See, this is how our application looks. 
this is the address of our application and this is the structure you can see we have got the home tab if i click on this it will display the home page if i click on the privacy tab the privacy page is getting displayed and also look at the structure we have got the header this is the content area and at the end we have got the footer in our next section we shall understand the project structure role of each file and from where these contents are coming from in our next session we shall understand the project structure then role of each file as well as the flow of control of this particular application because that is very important only then we can enhance our application and new and add new functionality to our application thanks for your time and do subscribe to my channel shortly i'll come up with the next video thanks again